Greetings, time for a video log. Uh, as you can see, uh, well, two things. From my tea towel, you can see that I'm in a domestic frame of mind. And uh, you can all, well, three things really. You can also see I'm wearing casual clothing. That's because I've been doing art. It's about three o'clock in the morning and I've been doing art, which is a right palaver actually doing art. Um, it's all right if uh, you're not bothered about what the art looks like, but if you're uh, bothered about the art, it is a palaver. At the moment, I'm doing a picture of the fox doctor. Here, he's a fox who thinks he's a doctor. Well, he's more of a sort of scientist, but he calls himself the fox doctor. And uh, the, author the authorities are against him. Uh, they, well, he's always experimenting on radioactivity and making new isotopes, and the authorities say his isotopes aren't kosher. And he says, no, he says, he, well, basically, the authorities say, uh, these isotopes ain't kosher, baby. And he says, no, 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 I'm the fox doctor. I can make the top isotopes. I'm the fox doctor. I can bounce back. Anyway, all that is written on the art. And then I'm doing a picture of the fox doctor. And uh, you can see the authorities at the windows and so on. Anyway, and I'm also... That is going to be in the, aut in the autumn uh, of this 2015 in the UK. The UK autumn. Uh, for those of you watching in Australia... In places like that, I'm talking of the spring. But anyway, in that time, I will be all around the UK and I'll be taking my art with me. There'll be other pictures. I'm going to move on soon to a picture of Skeleton Johnston, half Skeleton, half Mr Johnston. And uh, uh, he's rowing to the Isle of the Dead because he's working as the boatman of Greek mythology on a sort of part-time basis. And then there's going to be a self-portrait. And there'll also going to be a picture of loads of unicorns all being executed in various ways. Um, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I haven't got time to go into it now. Uh, because this uh, video log is quite um, unstructured. A lot of people will criticise it, saying it's unstructured. And then that is up to them. It is that is the nature of this particular video log. The other thing about the video log is you will have noticed that I am bouncing. That's because I'm on one of those bouncing ball things. I'm not quite sure what the name of it is, but it's like a ball, and you can sit on it and bounce. So I'm bouncing, and that also me um, means that I'm slightly too high. Uh, you'll notice that the camera that's videoing me, my phone. Um, well, basically, you can't see this, but I've had to stand the phone on loads of box sets of CDs, and I've sort of run out of box sets, so this is as high as I can get it, but it's not quite high enough, so that's another criticism people could make of this video log, is that the camera is not quite high enough, but that it's up to them to criticise. Uh, on the subjects of the DVDs, I'm fed up, well, I don't know about you, but I'm fed up with murder mysteries, not bothered about them. I mean, there was a, Inspector Lewis was on the other day, a video, oh, it's all the same, isn't it? Um, uh, Don at an Oxford college, um, murdered, uh, almost murdered, uh, found dead on the steps outside his room. Who could have done it? It could have been anyone. It could have been the cleaner. It could have been another uh, academic or a student. Or it could have been someone from America. Oh, there's an American angle in this one. Oh, it's all so dull. Can't be bothered with the murder mysteries. So, in fact, a lot of the murder mystery box sets that this... Um, video log is currently been filmed on that I'll probably get rid of them. Uh, so that will give me problems for the next video log to get the correct height of the camera. Anyway, 
the only thing I really wanted to mention in the video log, really, was um, I was ill recently, I've just got over it, I had a cold, very bad cold, and I was like in bed all shaking and all that, and I, ah. but the thing I was going to say, I don't know whether you agree, but um, being ill is bad enough, but what's even worse is all the attitude of all the other people, like, um, like some people sort of say things like, they say, oh, have you taken it? You've got to take such and such. Oh, you've got to take vitamin C and seven times a day and you should also take such and such three times a day and get an aspirin and this old soluble aspirin. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. There's a bit of the illness coming back there. And the thought of all those annoying people has made me ill again. And they say, oh, I get the aspirin, I mix it in with a little bit of eucalyptus four times a day. And if you don't do all these things they tell you to, then they sort of say, oh, well, you should have done what I said. Uh, you, if you'd done what I said, you'd have been fighting fit by now. Uh, you'd have got rid of it within moments. And the other annoying thing when you're ill is people say, oh, well, it was always going to happen. It's your body's way of telling you to slow down. You've been burning a candle at both ends. Uh, you've got to just take a break now. Oh, you've been doing too much. Uh, anyway, I fed up with it. It's rubbish. All of it rubbish. It just happened to be ill, just for no reason. Um, anyway, so uh, that is the end of this video log. It's uh, another... Criticism of the video log will be that it peters out a bit. There's no clearly defined end. Um, I'm going to eat some mackerel now uh, with a bit of dill um, and a salad. So, uh, as the critics suggested, there is no clearly defined end, and as the critics also said, the camera. Not high, not high enough. Another criticism that quite rightly, um, in many ways, is seeming justified. Uh, goodbye.